but I've never done this before. It should work. It could fail terribly, but we're going to find out together as I push this uh, green button right here. Ryan's Mobile One. I put a lot of work into this shell, getting all the sap off of it and getting the rivets replaced and getting everything right. And now I'm going to take the rivets out and redo the surface because it, it's the wrong color. And anyway, you got to be careful with these because they don't sit the same as on other trucks because this just comes as close as it can to this. I have to put some pad or something. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about picking it up. How do you get a shell off of a truck? using a lift. What I did is I put a couple of screws, I pre-drilled it, had this clamped while I went and did the other side. I got these underneath of it by being on the inside of the shell and lifting the shell up using my legs but my back is against the roof of it and I just kind of like go up on my tippy toes like that and stuck boards underneath of it, got them centered with the windows in the open position. Anyway these things are tricky because they hang down in the back. But uh, let's try it. Let's lift off a shell using a vehicle lift. So what's going to happen? This is heavier than the front is. It could fall off the back. Um, these are screwed together. But I've never done this before. It should work. It could fail terribly, but we're going to find out together as I push this uh, green button right here. Okay, I already see a problem. <laughs> So it's hitting on this, so I need to change that so it hits on this. What I probably could have done is use these taller ones. What about this side? This side is clean. I'm only dirty on one corner, so let's fix it. You know what? I don't think it even matters. But I'm still going to fix it. I come down a little bit just to clear. You have to lift up on these. These actually ratchet together. You can see those little teeth right there. So watch what happens when I pull up on this ring. Pull up. Oh, it's stuck. Some, something's got it bound up. Not sure what. Um, options. Another thing I can do is put a puck in there from another lift system. I've got the quick jack and it's got these little rubber pucks that come in super handy for all kinds of stuff. Another project I want to do with the quick jack, it's heavy enough, it's hard to slide around the floor. So I was going to put these on it, these little roller bearings that you use on an assembly line. I'm going to tag those in there with some rivets. Don't tell Ben Pack guys because they don't like it when you modify their stuff. But I think it's a good idea. All right. Release the cracking and the uh, clacking. These are the clacking safety chocks. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I got that right in the side of the ear. Okay, so we'll go up a little, down a little. We're going down. Had to go up to get off the locks. Then we go down. I bet this will move. Let's try it. Let's try it again. There we go. That is ideal. So we clear that little bump there. If we extend this, and we're still under the board, let's go for it. What if, hmm, I like it, I'm going for it. Cross your fingers. All right, we'll check it. See how we barely miss right there. And we're sitting on the arm and on this. Looks good up there. This also looks, dude, this side's just perfect. Couldn't ask for better. Um, you know what? This shell is off the truck. You could drive the truck out right now and the tire's up on the thing already so it would just go lower. But we're gonna go up. We're going all the way up. I'm gonna stick this thing to the ceiling just about. That's it. That's all she wrote. You notice I've got a strap on this. What the heck did you put a strap on it for? Well, I knew where I wanted to stop to kind of get it in the middle for the arms. So I hung the strap so that when I drove the truck, it would be right in the middle of that plate. And uh, that's right where we ended up. That's all that was for. So we'll take that off. I don't like whack myself on it. I've got a habit of doing that today. Sorry. Oh my gosh. 
But look at that. Isn't this fun? I got everything out of the truck. I got to take it in for some safety recalls, get my VIN updated and get all the safety materials or whatever. But we're good. I'm just going to pull that out now. That is fun. Let's set you up on the dirt bike fender. The nice thing about the fender is it's got so many contours. How fun is that? I haven't had an open bed forever. I want to power wash it. It's just gotten to where it's really dusty and nasty in there. And it's a nice day. I have a twofer here. And uh, here's what the shell looks like on the thing. See how stable this is. So the idea is to put some eye bolts in this and some ropes and have different length ropes. So my buddy Van, he did it in his garage. I really liked it. So I wanted to do the same thing. But I want to put it on the lift because I got to pull out all this glass so I can get it sanded and get all these nicks and things done. Uh, do a little bit of body work to this because uh, it needs it, <laughs> especially on these corners up here. But anyway, how fun is that? Welcome aboard. It even has the paint coat on it. It was originally white. It was the PW7. See, PW7 bright white. That's what I was trying to get to begin with. That's what we'll be back to. I really like this shell because it has these uh, side opening things where you can reach in and grab emergency gear. You can get your uh, first responder jack out and it's big enough. You can just snag the sucker and grab it and go. I like it. You can see this board right here. I put it across so it gets a little support there. Right here's where all the strength is. You can see it was a kind of a swing and a miss right there. The different uh, different heights but it worked out but anyway way excited that turned out good thanks for sharing the moment that was fun bonus footage at the end What line are you taking? So I mean, there's a lot of rocks in here, especially at the top, so be careful. But then once you pass these uh, big rocks, it uh, smooths out. It's nice. So you just, sur you just do you surgery at the top and then ride it. Gotcha.